God bless you everyone. Father Steve with you for another episode of Ask Father Anything. And I'm here at St. Mary Mystical Rose, one of my parishes, next to a beautiful statue of the resurrected Christ with his wounds and, and the sacred heart. And so here, uh, I'm, I chose to do this, this shot, this, uh, this episode here next to the statue because I, I was asked a question about the resurrection, particularly about the resurrection, but also about the Nicene Creed or the Apostles' Creed that we would pray during a rosary or at Holy Mass. And so we pray in the Creed, he was crucified uh, under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day rose again. Why do we say rose again? Did Jesus rise again another time? Was he previously risen? Why do we say again? And so the Latin is also imp important for us to recognize. I have to use my notes for all of this, so bear with me. So the Latin is important. So in the Latin, the word is resurrexit. And so we say et resurrexit tertiae die. And so on the third day, he resurrected. And so it is, uh, it's, a, it's a, the perfect tense of the Latin. And so it's, uh, the perfect tense is used for an action that has already been completed. So we're looking back at something. And so it's something that's already been completed. Jesus has accomplished it. He, so the short answer is he did not rise previously. He's only risen once. And so um, it's important for us to know that. But in the English language, there are many words in our English language uh, like the word again that have different meanings. And so uh, again can mean once more. You know, I, I, uh, I, I, was, I was mean to my sister again and again and again, or, or Bobby pulled Susie's hair again and again, and so it means once more. Um, but we can rule that out in the creed, right? We know Jesus did not rise an additional time. But, uh, but, but, but again can also mean in addition to, or anew, or afresh. And so the example could be, um, I was, I was uh, awoken in my sleep and I went to bed again. It wasn't really going to bed at a, a completely different time, but it was anew, afresh, in addition to that previous, that previous time of slumber, if you will. And so our use of the word again in the creeds has that definition in mind. It's addition to. And so Jesus has completed his act on the cross, he, he died, suffered, and was buried, and took up his body again because it was accomplished. It was, it was finished, and so in that act, it was completed, and so now we could say he has, he has risen and again taken on new life. It's not, not in the sense that it's a new life of a new beginning, but it's the, the beginning of his resurrected state. And so even in the scriptures, we read uh, that, that others had been, had been risen from the dead. Lazarus, uh, the, the, the brother of Mar uh, Martha and Mary uh, in Bethany, and then also the, uh, the, 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 the widow of Nain, her, her child. And so they were risen to new life, but they died again. And they didn't, they weren't raised to new life. Jesus does not die again. He has been risen to life, to new life. And so, in the, in the, in the understanding of, of the church's creed, and especially with the knowledge of, of the Latin, it's important for us to recognize that, that Jesus did not rise in addition to a previous resurrection. And so I hope that clarifies that for anyone. Uh, again, can, again, <laughs> continue to submit any of your questions to askfatheranything at gmail.com. Hope to get to more. God bless you and know of my prayers.